Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and uh, today I'm going to review another Sonoff product and this is the Sonoff uh, L3-P LED strip and um, uh, there has been so many different LED strips from Sonoff well obviously L1, L2 and now L3 and for each of them there are different variants uh, um, based on whether the strip is uh, waterproof or not and uh, well, we started first with a simple LED strip and the uh, basically the L2 or the Release 2, they also get Bluetooth control. So even if you lose uh, Wi-Fi connection, you can still control it via Bluetooth. And with the L3, the change is that basically it contains an individually addressable LED. So these are the LEDs where, well, up until now, all the LED strips, they had just... Uh, uh, not individually uh, addressable so it's everything is going to be either blue or white or green or whatever color and this one each light in this five meter strip strip can be in a different color and probably the best way to demonstrate this is if i show you how it works so i'm going to turn it on i can select you know various colors here you know so it just acts like a normal led strip i can even control like color temperature which uh, well I don't think it's a best representation because for some reason for me it, it looks a little bit like bluish but again this is an RGB LED strip so the white representation is never going to be perfect but what you will notice if I go here in this middle option then I have different uh, effects and so for example there are all sorts of effect and now this effect is going to show you that it is individually addressable because the colors and everything goes all the way through the LED strip so there is this you know magic forward and magic back so the colors just cycle through and you also have uh, let's say some waves and there is I mean there is all sorts of you know names and colors here and um, they basically just have a preset color and some preset motion then you can control the speed that's pretty much it when i started reviewing mostly chinese products i thought that i would receive more criticism because i'm not being you know very critical or harsh about these products and i mean i have to say that in most cases we are getting you know less functionality or you know less perfect or user-friendly functionality than if you if i would pick um, um you know western name product like okay if i talk about light bulbs then obviously uh you know the bulbs are not going to be as good or the application is not going to be as polished as let's say a philips hue but of all, also they are you know uh, there is a significant difference in the price as well but i think for this led strip i would say that uh, um it is a little bit disappointing and it's mostly because of these uh, various colors and the various effects that are available here and um, I think if you follow my channel you have probably seen a few videos that I did on um, the WLED and you know the effects that you get in WLED are you know really really good you can really just spend hours and um, exploring uh, each of the effects I mean even the number of effects are like I don't know like maybe hundred or even more and then the customizability option is is, is makes it even more um, versatile but here especially if I look at these you know options they are I have to say really simple uh, I mean you could do much more and more interesting effects uh, with these LED strip than these simple ones which are mostly flashing which I hate the most because I think if you want like a background light which is going to just seamlessly blend into your surrounding you probably want less flicker and I always, I always like the effects that are you know really subtle uh, you know smooth movements and these things are you know definitely not that I mean look at this these are like you know colors going through uh, alternating white and sorry uh, let's say green and black LEDs um, not really interesting and I don't think it would be really really nice unless you want to light up your house and you want it to be as noticeable as it can possibly be 
so but again you know this is all in software because I'm pretty sure that it is using the same microcontroller as the WLED uh, uses so if WLED can do it then uh, Sonov would be able to do it the question is whether they really want to do it or not to be honest I for me this magic forward and the magic back is probably the only one I would really use because this is like a nice subtle and slow effect if you slow it down then it's it's really nice it's you know it's a nice background something which can run in the background and then give you some ambience that is not going to disturb you but enough about my rant and before i continue with the review let me just show you the packaging um, again this l3 is much different from the previous ones if you remember the previous ones were you know rather large packages with with you know sub packaging for the LED strip and the controller and uh, and the remote, so here is much different. First of all, it's a really thin package. Uh, it's still nicely decorated, as you can see here. And what's on the back? Yeah, you get this uh, info on the back. But let me just talk you through what you get in the package. So obviously, you get an LED strip. Uh, and this one is a five meter this has the coating on it and this is obviously one of these addressable leds so you can see that you get um, you know a cut line for every single led and it has just a free connection so uh, ground uh, five volts and the data which gets you know goes through all the led strip you also have a controller and you also have a usb cable and that's it so you're not getting a USB adapter, so you have to have uh, your own uh, wall plug or wall adapter uh, in order to power this. So it just needs a regular USB adapter, uh, probably one which can do you know more than uh, an amp, a five volts, one amp. And uh, this one says the output is or the controller is five volts, two amp. Uh, but I think nowadays uh, any decent uh, adapter would be able to provide that and also you're not getting a remote so this can be controlled uh, on the application only there is a button here which is just like a power on and a power off button but that's pretty much it uh, other than that I think the construction is actually quite nice so there is a micro US sorry not micro USB USB type C connection uh, or uh, plug so you can use any um, USB-C cable if you don't want to use this cable and there is an opening here uh, and the LED strip just plugs in like this and so it is really simple to install and change it if you want and that's pretty much it and this controller can only support maximum of 10 watts so it's not going to be a huge amount of power but I think this LED strip is more about you know all the effects and everything so if you want a lot of power you can still purchase the l2 which has a much beefier controller and that it can you know drive an even longer led strip than the one which is supplied let's see how this uh, device behaves in the ev link app setting up this device is just like any other device it has the it supports the bluetooth pairing so you just select the bluetooth pairing option and then it's just a matter of like 10 15 seconds to set it up so once you have it in your application, you can see that you have a main button here, so you can control it uh, to turn on and off. And then the user interface is, I think it's uh, similar to the L2, a little bit different. So you have a couple of different options, or let's say a couple of different uh, you know, screen types. So if you are just using it as an RGB strip without the addressable bit, then obviously you are getting the same color throughout the entire strip. But if you want to use this function, I think you are, I mean, you can do, you can use an L2 as well. You can save a couple of preset colors here and you can also use color temperature. So this is the simulated um, um, cool white and warm white. And also there is a separate white slider, which is just, I don't know, some sort of generic light. It, it looks like a little bit cooler light. And for each of them, you can control the brightness. And um, yeah, that's it. For the color temperature, you have brightness as well. You also have the main switch up here, if you want to switch it off here. And um, yeah, if you want a, a, you know, a specific RGB value, you can set it manually as well. So there's all sorts of options, how you want to set your color. And then on the bottom part of the screen, you have a schedule. 
So these are the usual schedule things that is available for all the devices. So you set an hour and a day, and an hour and a minute, and a day of the week, and then whether you want the device to turn on and off. And of course that would just remember what was the last color and they would just turn on uh, using the last color. So you can have a lot of these schedule options and you also have a timer. So this is like, um, you know, I turn on this LED strip and I want it to turn off after half an hour. So you can set a, uh, you know, a timer which is going to work once. So these are the fixed colors and the various timers. And what I've shown you before is you have uh, the uh, the addressable uh, effects, and uh, I've already mentioned it briefly. So you have all these different ones. So the uh, only this magic, magic forward and magic back is the one which is not flashing, and you know it's just like a smooth fading animation, and you can control the speed. And then the wave and everything is going to be like this, uh, you know step motion not fading in and out and it just basically uh, gives you presets with different set of colors so this rgb one as you can see it's basically a red green and blue colors cycling through together and if you select the i think there is an rgb wave back back which just go oh that's the back but if you select the other one it's the same colors but just going in a different direction so for every single one you have uh, like a standard version and a back version which is the you know the reverse direction and then you have this race which you know it fills up well i guess you can see what it does and again it just does it with different colors uh, when you select the different modes and the and the flash is pretty much the same but uh, i mean yeah you can see the initial state is different colors and not black and then you have this marquee which is uh, an alternative alternating color and black pixels and then just going going uh, from that, that direction and you can change the color so it works uh, not the most amazing I have seen and finally you have a music mode which is again it's just listening to the microphone and then it's trying to uh, react to the sound that it it, her, it hears the one thing I I, I can show you is I t if I turn off my phone this works as well so the microphone is actually here and if I do like light taps you can see that it actually re responds to the microphone that is inside and as you can see, based on, um, you know, these things just uh, activate different effects. So the classic is just going to, you know, flash in different colors uh, based on the intensity of the background audio. The soft is going to do this. Uh, uh, basically, the colors runs from the beginning to the end, depending on the um, audio level and then the dynamic does a different thing so again it just different colors and amount of light uh, lights up based on the the audio level i don't think it really listens to um, you know looks at the bass or a treble because i don't think this small chip would be able to do that and then you finally have a disco oh, actually that's not, that's quite nice so if you want some you know party room then um, actually this is not bad and also it's not bad because it's uh, it's not working off your phone so once you turn it on um, then you don't have to uh, pick up your phone it's going to work like that and I guess uh, you can just uh, you know you can uh, modify the sensitivity in order to get the sort of the response that you need but uh, actually this disco is not that bad Ooh, that looks funky that's nice. To be honest, these audio modes are even better than the standard, you know, these color wheel modes. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's just set a color. So these are the different modes. And in the settings, you, yeah, you can change the name, you can upgrade the version if there is a version, you can change the location, share the device, 
there is a Wi-Fi setting here, so when you pair the device, then it just does a Bluetooth pairing, and then you have to come here for the Wi-Fi setting, and then uh, that's the that's when it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can set the how many lamps you have in the strip. As I said, the the limit is uh, the well the the limit for the controller is 10 watts, so I don't think that you would be able to add another you know, five meter strip. But again, if you are using it in special modes, so maybe in, uh, for example, this disco mode, as you can see, it, it it would never light up all the LEDs at the same time. So maybe if you are using exclusively the disco mode, you might be able to hook another five meter LED strip at the end of this, and then you can have, you know, uh, 10 meters. And if you're buying the same thing, then you can um, increase the, the lamp bead setting. So that's basically how many you know LEDs you have in the strip. And um, on the the supplied five meter one, it's 150 LEDs. And of course, if you cut it short, then you can set it to a lower number. And but that's pretty much it. And since I know that the scene settings has been enhanced, let me just show you. Or let me let's check what is available for this device. Oh, sorry, not this one, smart device, and um, yeah, okay. So you can uh, set up a scene, you know, uh, to turn the LED strip on or off, or you can change if it was on, then it's off and the other way around. And you can, you can set the color temperature or the color and the brightness. So you can program it. You can use a scene to program this LED strip to come on to a certain color and I always almost forgot to scroll down because actually just below the brightness you also have the scenes so you can activate the scene as well so let's say I want magic forward so if this uh, scene executes this LED strip would come on and it would yeah it would turn on the magic forward scene unfortunately you can't do this with the audio effects but yeah so not everything is possible in the scenes so but at least these are and i think these are also recent addition to the scenes and what is a, what is uh, possible within the scenes in the actions so that would be my review of this uh, son of l3p led strip which has addressable leds as you can see here if you are interested in this product i'm going to leave purchasing links in the video description but that will be all for today Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.